Jane from Access Your True Nature. Did I get your attention with my snazzy little title yesterday about how to sleep your way to success? I'm going to hope that you guys find me because I don't want you to miss this. Got to sleep your way to success and get your mind out of the gutter. I'm not talking about sleeping your way to the sex to success but the importance of sleep today and I am doing this on my business page today and Facebook says they're building an audience yay I'm trying this out um, rather than my regular private page so I hope that you find this if you're listening to the replay welcome welcome and I hope that you get some value out of this today because in this video I'm going to give you some great information so that you can actually do the training so it's just not just information you have to do the training and I'm also going to give you my top 10 brain hacks that are going to improve your life so that you can love what you do without burning out and breaking the bank and maybe get your libido back because without sexual energy you can't really create anything and when you're exhausted and tired you really don't want to have sex in any way, shape or form, let alone <laughs> try and sleep your way to success. So if you can't remember the last time that you felt rested or happy or on top of your game, this one is just for you. So first thing I wanted to ask you is, do you know what the heck glymphatics are and what they have to do with your health, your happiness? and your bank account and I'll give you a hint it only happens when you're sleeping ta-da any guesses glymphatics they are amazing but you're gonna have to wait because I want to want to ask just give you some information too about why sleep is so important and why do we sleep because if you think back for centuries, sleep deprivation has been used as a form of torture to get people to give them information about things. And the less sleep that you have, the more you're unable to control your willpower or anything else, right? You just, the brain fog comes and you're just so tired that you will do or say anything just so that you can close your eyes. And if you have like these toothpicks in your eyes or they're forcing you to keep your eyes open, you know that that is not very good to your health, to your adrenals, to your nervous system or your brain or your body or your livelihood. So I don't know about you, but I have had many, many times in my life where when I was at my most manic state of depression and anxiety about 15 years ago, I would sometimes go without sleep for like three or four days. No sleep. None. And the more sleep deprived I got, the more suicidal I got, the more anxious I got, the more nothing made sense. It's, it's a bad place to be. And let's face it, with, with, out sleep for extended periods of, of time you will die your body shuts down and it can't heal and your immune system gets compromised and your nervous system gets fried and your adrenals are non-existent and then there goes sex there goes libido there goes creativity poof out the window and we want to get that back okay so we want to re if you want to restore your vital life force energy your chi no amount of coffee or stimulants for an extended period of time is going to change that, right? You are just going to age faster, you're going to be more stressed, and you are shortening your telomeres, right? And that's a whole nother story. <laughs> but for now, why do we sleep? So please give me your comments and questions, give me some likes, give me some hearts, tell me if this is interesting to you. Uh, let me know how you're sleeping. Uh, what is your what is your uh, sleep pattern look like? Do you go to bed at the same time every night? Uh, where where are you willing to start actually tightening up 
on your sleep hygiene so that you are bright and happy and focused on the tasks at hand that are going to fulfill your life and keep you happy and bring you the great relationships and bring you the money or the jobs or the business that you're asking for. So why do we sleep? Lots of reasons, but this has puzzled philosophers and scientists for centuries. And recently, and I'm talking about in the last five years or so, sleep's been getting a lot more attention from scientists who are really starting to understand the purpose of sleep, besides the fact that we regenerate ourselves and we need it in order to function at our optimist. But those little glymphatics, they only work at night. They only work at night. And they're like the garbage systems. They work with the lymphatic system. And their, their job is to go around and clean up your, your cell debris, right? So to actually take all the toxins and everything out of your body, but also your pure thought and your impure thought and, and separate it out and get rid of everything that you don't need. So everything works, like I always talk about in functional integrative medicine. We're just looking at one aspect of it today and if you wanna work on your sleep hygiene, if you want to enrich your life, you can call me and we can set up your own personal prescription based on your diagnosis and, and get you back to where you want to be. So back to these little glymphatics. Um, it's not your lymphatic system. Like I said, it works. Everything in the body works with everything else. But this, it, it's quite fascinating because the glymphatics are like, they govern the liquid that's surrounding all these little nerve cells in your brain. And we're, we're beginning to really understand that, that the this, this system that you didn't know about glymphatics before this, but they, it's only activated during sleep. And when it gets activated, it acts like this little garbage pickup truck for our brains. So if you're waking up with brain fog, if you're waking up just feeling like you can't focus, you can't get yourself going, you might want to start taking care of not just your whole body mind system, but specifically to keeping your lymphatic system happy. And this is also the way that nutrients enter the brain during sleep as well. So if, if you want a brilliant mind that gets, that's going to get you into your creative space to make you the money and have the great sex and all the other yummy stuff that you want, you might want to take some immediate action to improving your sleep hygiene and I can help you with that. So where are you right now in your, in your sleep, in your sleep pattern? What's going on in your life? Uh, post your comments and questions. I do read all the posts, even if you're listening to a replay. I do answer all your questions as best as I can afterwards. So be sure to post your comments and questions and let me know what's going on because I know We've all been in those pro in those moments of absolute burnout and exhaustion in our life, and you might have noticed that the more you, more exhausted you are, you may be wired and tired. So you actually lie at bed and you have the best intentions to go to sleep and you can't go to sleep. I have one of those dolphin brains, and I'm going to get into chronotypes later on. But we know what we should do, right? Like go to sleep earlier, and turn off our cell phones and treat our bodies like we would put a baby to sleep and we don't because life is busy and there's never enough time and and things happen right but there are things that we want to do and you, and you have to choose between getting a good night's sleep or hanging out with a significant other including facebook right social media is not just a killer of libido but it's a killer of your dreams and it's a killer of your future you are making yourself old before your time, and I'm sure you don't want that. So, you know, sleeping or getting some t some me time, uh, sleeping or cleaning the house, uh, sleeping or Netflix, uh, sleeping or Facebooking and tw twittering and texting, it's, it comes down to choosing, you know, choosing what is a priority for you. And you may not be feeling the effects of it now, but believe me, it will catch up. The body never lies and the body does keep the school. So just remember that there is help, right? The great thing about, about life is it expands to fit the time you give it. 
the commitment that you give it. And if you're not getting the results that you want, just look at what you were committed to yesterday and you might might be able to start tightening up a few of those things. And I know when you're in it and you're confused and you're overwhelmed and you're exhausted, it's not very easy to do on your own, which is why I do the work that I do. And I'm here to support and guide you to, to getting your lifestyle medicine sorted so that your life works for you and you love yourself and you love your life and things are in optimum flow. And when you adjust to new schedules or you start figuring out how to fit certain activities in at, at a different time of the day or you let go of certain things because they're just not a priority, you know, nobody's going to die if you don't wash your dishes. Um, and things get done a whole lot, lot, lot easier and faster and you're more productive when you are not sleep deprived. So you may be thinking that your situation is different to mine or that somehow it's easier for me to get to bed early or you know, for you it's impossible. But if a person running the amount of companies and sitting on the board of directors of other people's companies and running my child and looking after my animals and doing my volunteer work can figure this out because literally it was a do or die situation for me to do to do this and give it my full attention 15 years ago because I knew that if I kept going the way that I was I wasn't going to be here and if you have health challenges if you're in chronic pain if you have dull grade pain if you have migraines all the time you want to look at some of these basic things and we're gonna you know I always talk about hydration being one of the main things that people don't don't take care of you want to be hydrated if you're feeling tired and lethargic and sluggish and you have brain fog hydrate yourself okay that's one of the first things and the second thing is what I'm talking about today is sleep is sleep you have a choice and you have to figure it out or it's going you're going to suffer the consequences what is it costing you already to not be as productive as you want during the day because you're actually running on empty and you may be thinking that maybe you you operate just fine with less than adequate sleep and not everybody needs 8 hours a day and but you have to find out what is the optimum amount of sleep that you want. And research shows that only a tiny fraction of people, like one out of a thousand people, can function well on fewer than eight hours of sleep each night. And it also depends on the time that you go to sleep. The more hours that you can get in before 12 o'clock, that, that is the most restorative, regenerative sleep. Your cells are literally doing their regeneration at before 12. Okay, so in Chinese medicine, we always talk about getting to sleep before 10 p.m. at night. Why? Because that is the optimum prime time of your little gallbladder uh, that, that kicks in and starts to discombobulate and disentangle and, and with the liver from one to three, the liver kicks in, right? Because the general decides what are we keeping, what's useful information, what isn't, what's useful and nutritious on a physical level and what isn't and if you're not if you're awake at 10 if you're still awake at 3 like often times I'm still tossing and turning my liver is backed up I don't make good decisions when I'm tired when my liver is backed up I do not do very well okay and you might be finding that just pulling your clock back 30 minutes at a time another 30 minutes in increments of 30 minutes try and aim to be in your bed starting to wind down preparing for sleep at 10 o'clock and you will see remarkable changes in your life and uh, according to the center of disease control only 30 percent of americans are sleep are, uh, let me say that again 30 percent of americans are sleep deprived there are thousands of thousands of people that are on uh, some kind of sleep medication um, and you know 30% is a lot I think it's probably higher than that with social media and all the other distractions that we have and blue light and and lights we're not in tune and we're not in in sync with our natural body rhythms and our circadian rhythm and 
the, the natural seasonal flow and the moon cycles. And this is really, really important. And this is another thing. It's new. It's a new moon tonight. And the moon is a big rock, right? In crocodile medicine, and I di digress a little bit, but this is, you might find this really interesting. Alligators and crocodiles, they, they swallow stones. Sometimes dogs do this when they're not able to digest their food properly. You see them swallowing little, little pieces of rocks to help with their digestion, right? To, to make it easier for their bodies to digest. So, you know, where, where you are putting on belly fat often has to do with high cortisol, high stress levels, and a lack of sleep, right? If you want to lose the belly rolls, if you want to be more focused and alert, if you want to tap into your creative energy, you need to get more sleep. Hydration and sleep, they're free. All it takes is you, your choice, right? To increase your ability to concentrate and strengthen your immune system and decrease your risk of being killed in an accident, maybe because you're, you don't have your wits about you, as my mother would say. And you know, it, it also um, decreases the level of stress hormones when you sleep properly, and it doesn't cost you a dime, okay? An extra hour of sleep can do more for your happiness than a $60,000 raise. So you might wanna look at that. And remember too, melatonin starts to drop off, especially around the full moon. So knowing your chronotype, Knowing what base times of the day work for your productivity, work for you to do certain things is a really good place to start. And also looking at adverse childhood experiences, looking at what state your nervous system is in, where you're still in a constant state of stress. If you're a South African and you're listening to this, you know that you don't maybe don't sleep very, very deeply because one ear is always tuned on to what's going on in, on, the outs, on the outside. And that also is affected by what kind of chronotype you are. I'm a dolphin chronotype, so half of my brain is awake all the time, but there are still specific things that I know that I have to do to make sure that I maintain my optimum production, my optimum happiness, my optimum level of... Um, focus and it's very easy it's easier than you think to fix this but you may find that you need support and it doesn't require drugs it doesn't require countless hours of therapy it's just about getting to know your history where you are now where your adrenals are and i cover all of this in my in my home study out of the blues program too ariana huffington also she wrote a, a brilliant brilliant book called the sleep revolution um where she talks about transforming your life one night at a time because she nearly died at her desk from absolute exhaustion she she passed out and knocked her knocked her head and cut her chin open and i don't know what else and she got a shock of her life because she realized that if she kept burning the candle at both ends that she wasn't going to live very long and she really began her journey back to the rediscovering the value of sleep and the way back to a more joyful productive life um, so if you haven't read her book the sleep revolution read it but remember information is only as good as the actions that you take to apply it to your life so how do you make a change you want to pay close attention to what keeps you up later than you want to. Is you know, is it the social media time that you're using to decompress? Are you sitting there binge watching Netflix just to try and relax after a really crazy, stressful day? Um, are you kind of cleaning up because that's the only time you get to clean your house after everyone's gone to bed? Um, uh, you know, once you start to really identify the culprits and look at your patterns that are having a negative influence on how you're feeling and your joy and, and, and your productivity, then you can start to put together a plan of action to change some of these things. And, and I cover this in depth when I do your, your intensive intake. If you work with me on lifestyle medicine and really getting to the root cause of why you are in the state that you are in, and how that you can start to turn your life around. So, you know, for me, uh, one of the patterns that I noticed is that because I have clients all over the world, I'm often, I was often uh, booking 
appointments when America woke up. You know, I'm nine hours ahead of Pacific time. Uh, I was booking, I was speaking on tele summits. At one stage, I, I had two or three tele summits booked or interviews or podcasts where I was guest speaking that uh, were booking were booked for three o'clock in the morning. And I just realized that, that that as much as I love to to share my work out of how to reset your nervous system, of how to repair your brain, of how to be happy and love your life, um, it was it was coming at a cost and and I knew I had to change some of that. So you, learning to say no to commitments that are outside of your normal healthy patterns, right? Your lifestyle medicine, including your sleep is a really important thing. And I'm going to talk about boundaries in, in regards to um, living into your love and honoring you as your most valuable asset in, in another uh, Facebook Live. But, you know, for me now, um, I just want to stick to the sleep part today. So look at what are, what are some of the culprits for you? What, what are some of the patterns where you, you know that what you're doing is catching up with you and it's affecting your happiness and, and maybe you're just just not feeling that into anything and you're demotivated and depressed or, or anxious and and see you know where where can you actually start to implement turn it one degree what simple changes can you start to make to ensure success and sleep right literally sleeping your way back to the top of your game so know that you know it may not work for you every night but but when you are intentionally focused on changing it it starts to get really really easy every habit you know they say it takes 30 days to lay down new pathways and for me I reckon 45 days to change the neural pathways in your brain and your nervous system so it's about consistency and momentum and really just going okay you know what so I only got to bed 15 minutes earlier than last night but I'm gonna keep keep at it and keep deepening into your practice so some nights you're gonna to get to bed later than you want. Some nights you're gonna to get to bed on time and and maybe some nights you'll actually give yourself the luxury and it's not really a luxury, it's a necessity to go to bed an hour earlier, turn off everything and just read a beautiful book, you know, read a book that, that's really gonna fill you up. And you know, here's some of my other top tips, okay, uh, to stop you aging and, and, and getting exhausted and burnt out and put some love back in your life. So I, the one I already said was hydration. Nobody is drinking enough. Carry a, a liter bottle of water with you all the time and drink. If you want to up your energy and your vitality, hydrating yourself, drinking optimal amounts of water. Pee until it's clear. Uh, we covered this a lot in the Believe Challenge where hydration, it was one of the challenges because people actually started to realize how much drinking and hydrating helped them to function and have more joy. Uh, the other thing is get yourself on your devices, something like Flux, it's called f.lux.com. I use that on all my screens and it's amazing. I think a lot of the new iPhones have this now on already built in where the, the, the color of your, your screen, the blue light goes away and, and as the screen gets darker, as it would if you were living without electricity and, and lights and, and in an artificial environment, your brain actually starts to register that it's time to go to sleep, right? The melatonin starts to switch off and your body tells you it's time to go to bed. So using something like flux, um, proper screen hygiene, using EMF mats, uh, limiting your time. And if you have children, please limit their time that they're spending on the screens. Our, the rule in my house with my daughter is two hours before bed, she stops any of her devices and, and she goes and reads a book or we just um, read a book together or have some conversation while she lies in bed and we just catch up and do some gratitude and, and talk about the next day. So doing a brain dump is another good one. Uh, writing in your journal before you go to bed or putting a to-do list, a nice brain dump before you go to bed is a really good way to not have to lie there tossing and turning about all the things that you have to do that are going to keep you awake at night. And set set your bedtime for for aim for 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock or before 10 o'clock. 
I love uh, my sage diffuser. I got this beautiful new sage diffuser and I kind of put that on and put some moisture back in the air and it's also got very calming qualities. Or use some aromatherapy oils, put some lavender or neroli or something like frankincense or myrrh on your pulse points on the side of your head. Um, but some beautiful quiet meditation on and and just allow yourself to treat your body like a like you would put a baby to bed take a nice warm bath uh, make yourself a beautiful turmeric uh, or chamomile tea uh, an hour or two before before you start to prepare for bed it's not really the drink you know my old wives tales of have you know if you wake up have have some honey and milk it's not really the the that what you're drinking that's putting putting you in that state of relaxation but more the association with those times when you were a baby where, where you would have been on your mother's breast and she would have been singing you a lullaby and rocking you and it's that association with um, a calm and peaceful and loving and nurturing environment so how can you set yourself up in a way that you can really practice nurturing yourself that radical self-care all of this is actually radical self-care and you have to love yourself enough to do this for yourself uh, another one that 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 i that is a big no-no that i see so many people do is they'll set their alarm clock right and it'll be something horrendous like ringing bells where you're kind of in that startle effect and you're woken out of this deep sleep um and and what like frightened awake so you know, or, and then you hit the snooze button a couple of times. So you really want to be waking up gently. Um, if you don't have the luxury of waking up um, on your body's natural clock when it's time to wake up, put your alarm on something that's quieter and gentler and maybe it has a light. Uh, there are some new devices on, on the market where uh, it plays music that you can select. So it's lovely bells or chimes or a harp or whatever you love and um, you can actually program that into this device and it also has a light that that lights up i just say you know open your eyes stretch like a cat would and um, wake up quietly go to go over to the window hydrate your body is dehydrated when you wake up so have a beautiful warm water and lemon and open up your curtains and if you're lucky enough to live in, in a beautiful place like I do where the sun shines uh, brightly, just gaze out go outside or go outside even better and and get your, get your body to switch that melatonin off. And the best way to do that is through the light particles uh, receptors in your eyes. So really eyes wide open in the morning and, and gently, you know, if I don't wake up in a gentle way, um, I'm, I'm not a happy person. So no switching off your snooze button, get out quietly um, and, and start your day off with, with good hydration and just ease into it. And then, then do your morning pages or some yoga or some meditation. And the earlier that you go to bed, the, the sooner you'll actually start resetting your circadian rhythm to a place where you actually wake up before your alarm goes off and that's a beautiful thing um have a have a warm shower in in the morning and then turn your temperature to not freezing cold but but cold so that your body actually starts to really wake up and get get everything pumping and going again i also wear a fitbit uh, specifically to to track my my sleep patterns um, and and there are lots of devices on the market that 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 can track your sleep and and also that you know what I love about it is that it starts to tell me an hour before because I've set my bedtime for 10 o'clock it starts telling me at nine o'clock that it's time to start easing down the day and I love I love those gentle reminders because we can get so caught up in in the busyness of things that we are not practicing good sleep hygiene so those are my top tips and once you start to understand how important sleep is to your success you're going to start making a big effort to get the rest that you need so read the sleep revolution uh, it's an incredible book uh, written by Arianna Huffington um, after she suffered from severe burnout I've spent the past 15 years since my big health scare um, and my sort of adrenal burnout and, and, and my nervous system burnout 15 years ago to really listen to my body 
And when I get off track to quickly re -track, reset myself back into my natural uh, cycles with nature, with honoring my relationship with sleep and get really seriously committed to, to up the love and up the sex and up the money. So it's a great place to empower yourself to start getting what you want is just to start looking at how you can start to change your sleep hygiene. And, you know, because I care about you and your well-being, I wanted to just share a bit about that with you today. So I hope that you found that helpful. I've noticed that being on my business page, I haven't got my my wonderful tribe uh, that normally tune, tune into this. And also, I'm coming to you a, an hour earlier today because I actually have uh, a client in, in 30 minutes. So... Um, let me know, let me know if this was helpful. Um, if you want to know more about how to restore your health and fall back in love with your life and, and feel vital and refreshed and excited about what you're creating in the world, this is just one aspect of what we go into, into great depth about in how to heal your body um, on all four levels of commitment. And that includes the money part because you cannot make money if you're exhausted and I also teach you uh, how to how to stop the aging process stop being so exhausted stop the depression stop the anxiety and all the places where you're just lacking vitality and and we go into depth with adrenal health and looking at liver health and and lifestyle and and plant plant and live food as medicine and everything else so you know, just know that periods of deep rest, uh, the silence, that inner reflection are all essential for hearing your body and living from your, your innate wisdom of listening to your body and your mind. Um, and if, if you're a highly sensitive, intuitive woman like myself and so many of you are, um, I just encourage you to, to take more time to just to rest, to, to sleep. If you're one of those people that can, can do cat naps, cat naps are great. I was never, I, I always used to envy those people that could just kind of drop off in the middle of busy airports or uh, busy, noisy places. Um, it's not something that I'm able to do very well. But you know, your, inten your essential task in loving yourself is, is to take back control over where you have maybe fallen into some bad habits and and start getting back in touch with you as an embodied woman um, so that you can do your precious work in the life from a place of authenticity and integrity and and constantly aligning both your inner and your outer world your internal um, or integrity your body's integrity is always going to be a reflection of your outside world so you know if you're exhausted if you're angry and you're frustrated you're going to see a lot more of that start showing up in your life so getting good sleep is a really really good place to go uh, because we need you we need you out there doing your work and um, what are the possibilities of just taking some of these easy steps and, and, and turning your life around? And before I go, um, just know that if you're ready and you're kind of been craving for more of that alignment uh, with your, your true self, your true nature, if you are struggling with a transition or an identity shift, if you're looking um, for a more compassionate, knowing guide to journey along this path with you, um, I would love to have a conversation with you and see if we're a good fit to work privately with me because the more the more that we actually deepen into this, the more tr profound the transformation. And I get that you can't always see it when you're in it. Hi, Christina. Haha. <laughs> good. Good to see you here. So let me know how where are you on your on your sleep hygiene and also um, I'll probably do another Facebook live about this because I'm trying to keep them a little bit shorter but uh, another great book um, I'm an avid reader um, I love this book it's called The Power of When and it was written by Michael Bruce who's who is actually pretty cool and it's all about chronotypes so. 
there is a quiz that you can take. I will post the link to this below. But, you know, it's important to know that um, what your chronotype 2 is, just like any of the personality profiling that I use, I use the Enneagram, I use um, spiritual astrology, because it's important to know where is your moon in your chart? Where it, where are you? What is your, your blueprint? Your actual fingerprints never change. And the more that you know yourself, the more you can love yourself and the more that you can actually set yourself up for success. So, um, you know, he, he, it's, it's a really interesting book and there's a couple of different types and I, I'm, a, I'm a typical dolphin uh, chronotype, uh, which is probably one of the, <laughs> one of the, the, the ones that you probably wish you weren't if you know what they are. Um, you know, if you're a dolphin and you try to schedule any big presentations at work for, for 4 p.m., that's the best optimal time that you are in your most creative space. You're, mo you're, you're going to be your most awake and alert and, and when you're going to be feeling the most confident and, and, and open to sharing, which is why generally I do my Facebook lives at four, four o'clock and I really start uh, gearing up for my most creative time of my day is after four o'clock. I'm not a great morning, morning person. If you're a wolf, if you start trying to work at 6 p.m., not 6 a.m., um, it's going to work a lot better for you because you're a wolf. Babies are very much wolf personality. Um, you know, they kind of sleep a lot during the day and they're awake at night and they're active at night. Um, if you're a lion, uh, you want to be having your, your beer or your wine or your, or your sundowner between 5.30 and 7.30 p.m. Uh, to minimize the chances of disrupting your sleep and having a hangover. So this is a really interesting book. Um, if you're a bear, uh, your chronotype is going to struggle the most with losing weight. Most people, if you're sleep deprived, you're going to see that you have a lot of, of extra weight. You're going to have belly fat. Uh, getting to sleep earlier is going to change that, right? Because you're going to have more time to regenerate from uh, pumping out too much cortisol and we're all stressed we're all very very stressed so knowing your chronotype knowing your how you tick knowing your patterns your pathways through whatever floats your boat the Enneagram or anything else you'll see most of these uh, personality profiles you can take your the five element uh, quiz on my website access your true nature .com, and learn about yourself because the more you learn about yourself the more you'll stop beating yourself up and stressing yourself out when you actually aren't like other people and you're not doing things like other people and most of you are, are sensitive intuitive empaths that are part of my tribe so I know you get this stuff and I work a lot with animal uh, totems as well like I was talking about alligator bring some alligator energy in right now I'm not saying swallow stones but on the full moon this is a really good place to reset intentions so make one of your intentions uh, to practice better sleep hygiene for today for, for today and um, and and know you know that that there's a season for all things so where are you willing to slow yourself down? Uh, you don't need to put a, a bag of bricks on, on your back or swallow stones like crocodile energy. But knowing if you're a bear or a dolphin type or uh, a wolf, this is a phenomenal book and I absolutely love it. Um, so that you really start to understand your ups and your downs and your ebbs and your flows of how, how, every, how everything works better for you, how you flow better. And, and where to look at your peak times of performance, of alertness, and your mood to your creativity. So it's a great book. Um, check it out. It's called The Power of When by Michael Bruce. And if you want to hear more about chronotypes and you want to know more about how you can identify uh, your patterns and pathways, give me a call, book a session, and, and let's get you to restorative permanent change rather than all this temporary band-aiding and and quick fixes that that work for a bit and then and then they don't and part of that is getting to why you're choosing some of these self-sabotaging behaviors and patterns in the first place so if you feel like uh, you've had um, the rug pulled out from out of you if you're in transitions that feel too big or too raw or too challenging uh, to even speak about right now um, you can't see it when you're in it which is why it's important to have people that can support you so get support um, and 
ask for what you need and give your body what it's asking you for, which is probably a couple of hours more sleep. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, let me know if this, if you like this conversation, what you'd like uh, me to speak more about over the next couple of weeks. I will be talking about the different types of style attachment and um, how that too, knowing what kind of, of style attachment you're in, can really help you to resolve a lot of internal conflict and, and unresolved trauma so that you can bring them up into the light, integrate them into your present day and sleep your way to success, eat your way to success and, and find out how you can heal on all four levels of commitment so that you can love love yourself more and love the life that you're in. So wherever you are, thank you for joining me. If you're listening to this on the replay, post your comments and questions. Um, tell me what's going on for you. Tell me how many hours sleep you, you have. I'd love to know um, what you're going to choose as one intentional focus on this new moon to really deepen into changing things because mindset is part of this your mindset matters and and what's it costing you to not actually get this this sorted out now okay so i'll leave you with that question have a beautiful day and i will speak to you soon lots of love bye Mwah.